Hello everyone, this is Karthik. And in this video, we do an interesting problem from Code Forces Round 151, Diff 2, Problem C, Strong Password. I'll go through the problem statement. I'll explain how I reach to a solution. I'll give the solution. And then I'll also have a code walkthrough in the video. At this point, I will recommend you folks to pause the video here and read the problem on your own. But I know there will be lazy people like me, so I will still explain the problem in my own words. So there is a guy called Monopark. He wants to create a strong password. According to him, a strong password is consists of M digits. And this guy also has the database of all the passwords. He wants that the password he creates should not be a subsequence of the database. After this, he also has two arrays. Let's call them LB and UB. Both of these arrays are of size M. And LB at I says that the ith digit of the password that Monocar will create should be greater than or equal to LB at I. And similarly, the ith digit of the password should be less than or equal to UB at I. So these are the constraints. And let's move to some sample test cases so that we have more clarity. Now, this is the day for the first sample. This is the database of passwords. He wants to create a password of two digits and the password, the first digit of the password should be greater than or equal to five and less than or equal to five. The first digit, the second digit of the password should be greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to six. So let's see what he can create. So first digit has to be five. There is no other possibility. While the second digit could be zero, it could be one, it could be two, and all the way down to 56. Now, if you think about it, 51 is not allowed because it appears as a subsequence in the database. So this is not allowed. Similarly, 52 is also not allowed because it's a subsequence. 56 is also not allowed. However, 50 is allowed. So Monocarp can actually create a strong password and the answer for this test is yes. Let's look at the second input. Second input says Monocarp wants to create a three digit password. And first digit can be anywhere from one to four. Similarly for second and third digits, they can be anywhere from one to four. So the password could be triple one or one one two or one one three or one one four. Similarly, it could also be 1 to 1, 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 1 to 4. And all the other possibilities. There are going to be four cube possibilities over here. But if you see, all these numbers will be subsequence of the database. So the answer comes out to be a no. So triple one is subsequence of this database. And 112 is also a subsequence. 113 is also a subsequence. 114 is also a subsequence. You can try out all the numbers. All these four cube possibilities will be a subsequence of the database and therefore the answer of this out, uh, input is no. The good thing about this test case is we already have a brute force if you think about it. Just try out all the numbers and see if there are a subsequence of the database. If even one number exists, which is not a subsequence and is a valid number that follows this rule, then we're good. That's it. So we have a brute force. Let's see the complexity of the brute force. In the worst case, the number that we are building can have m digits, which is up to 10. So m digits will be there. For each digit, there are 10 possibilities. So m to the power 10 numbers can exist. In the worst case, there will be 10 possibilities for each digit from LB to UB. Then checking whether a number is a subsequence of this database or not, I think I can do it in big of n log n for sure, maybe big of n also. Let's go for even if it's big of n, where n is the size of this database that can be up to 10 power 5. So this is the minimum that I can think of for the brute force. And this is very bad because 10 power 10 defeats whatever you put here. So this is a very bad solution. But we do have a brute force already. Now let's move to a better solution. You can try out other sample cases if you are still not sure of the problem statement or you can add a comment. So let us note down a general input format now. We have a database 
that is of form D1, D2, Ti, and so on till Dn. So we have a n digit database, and we want to create a m digit number such that the first digit is greater than or equal to lower bound one, lower bound two, and the mth digit is greater than or equal to lower bound m. So this is your lower bound array. Then you have an upper bound array. So the mth digit has to be between lm to um. Let's try to create our final password now. How will we go about it? So at the first digit, I can place any number x such that x is less than or equal to u1 and greater than or equal to l1. So let's see. I place. I try creating my password, and at the first digit, I place x. Now. My problem reduces down into creating a m minus one digit password such that the m minus one, this entire thing does not appear as a subsequence in the database D. Let's see how we can make the problem even more well defined as a, a better sub problem here. So X might appear in the database. So first possibility that X does not appear at all in your database. In that case, no matter what you put here, you are good. Life is sorted in that case. But there is also a possibility that x does appear in the database. I will look for the first index at which x appears and assume it to be some index j. So x appears at the index j in the database for the first time. It can be multiple times. I look for the first index. So maybe dj. So let's say that this dj equals to x. And this is the first time in the database that I ever saw X. Now what will happen is that my sub problem, if I put a X here, I will just need to create a M minus one digit number such that this number is not a subsequence of the database D J plus one to N. So even if the number that I put on the second is Y and Y appears somewhere before DJ, that does not help our case. So even if it helps uh, occurs before the jth index, it does not matter because your subsequence needs to be first you find x in the database, then you find y. So y needs to occur somewhere in this region rather than the region towards the left. If you notice here carefully, you have broken down the problem into a sub problem here. And the sub problem is, is it possible to create a password of m minus one digits and given that it's not a subsequence of the database dj plus one to n. And this way you can try out for the first number all the possibilities of x. So if in any such possibilities of placing all x's here, it's possible to create such a strong password of m minus one digits, then we're good. That's it. Let's define the problem now in more concrete words. So I will define dp of a comma j as I want to create a password of uh, I want to create a password starting from the ith index till the mth index. So possible, it's, it's going to be true or false, possible to create password from starting from the ith digit all the way up to the mth digit, given that this created password from i to m is not a subsequence of the database from j to n. And that's it. That's going to be my DP definition. Now, using this, my final answer is going to be DP of 0, or let's go for the one based indexing for the sake of clarity. DP of 1, I want to create the password from 1 to m, that is, the, that is my m digit password. Given that this is not a subsequence of the database from database one to n, this is going to be my final answer. All we now need to do is find out a recurrence. Is it possible to find a recurrence here? Definitely. So DP of ij at ith index, I'll be placing a number x such that x is less than or equal to L, LB at i and x is less than or equal to u b at i. So x is greater than l b at i and l b at i and less than or equal to u b at i. 
any number x if you're able to place and create a strong password you're good so let's say that the index that you'll be able to find this guy x is at some uh, xj or what could be good index name like, let's call it x underscore index for now index of x so i'll place x and then i'll try to find out whether it's possible to create possible to create a password from i plus one all the way to n given that it's not a subsequence of not a sub of database from wherever the closest index of x index of x closest index of x in the database after j closest index of x after j all the way up to n so it's, this should be true and this is nothing but this is nothing but dp of i plus one comma this guy that's it we're done we have a recurrence now so you just have to try this for every possible x from lb at i to ub at i and if either of them is true your dp of ij becomes true and you want to know what the final answer is that's it if you have any doubts sir add in the comments but i'll move towards the code walkthrough now let's look at the time complexity in fact before we move to the code walkthrough so the time complexity here is going to be i have i here i can take up m values j can take up to n values so we have m into n states and n into m states and for every state i have m transitions uh, not exactly m transitions but more like 10 transitions because this can be in the worst case 10 which is going to be n let's call it n m square for now because you m in the worst case can be greater than uh, up to 10 so it's going to be around 100 times n or n m square or 10 times n m it is in fact possible to reduce this complexity down to big o of n into m and the secret is that you don't really need to try out every x you just need to try out that x that reduces your subsequence down to as small as possible for example if i'm placing a number at the ith digit so that it does not appear in the database at all from j to n then i'm golden anything i place after this is good i can place anything here it will never be a subsequence my entire password will never be a subsequence of the database because x itself does not appear in the database and the other way to look at it is if x appears in the database there are uh, I, there are 10 numbers that i'm going to try one of them appears so one of them appears at some index i1 another one appears at the index i2 a3 so on right like this and overall my database is going to be telling it is best to use the number at the ith index such that the remaining sub uh, database the subsequence i'm going to look at reduces down to as small as possible because it does not really matter what i place at the ith index to the remaining of the password all it matters is that this password should not be a subsequence of the remaining database so if this password is a subsequence of this it will always it will definitely be an at subsequence of this similarly if it's a subsequence of this it will always be a subsequence of i went to n so all i need to do is find out the x that reduces my database to as small as possible and then instead of trying out all these numbers i can just put in the one number that will give me the correct results and that's it let's go over the code work through both these things so in this code what i did was i first input the database string and form a password database so this password database has a good format what it does is it takes in your database string and then breaks it down into 10 sets and set the digit indices at zero says at what indexes zero occurred in the database string data digit indices at nine will tell you at what indices nine has occurred in the database string similarly this password database also provides me with a method to of finding the best index given a digit to find and what is the suffix that you're looking at it will tell you what is the first index after which this digit has occurred 
so that that index is greater than the suffix start uh, greater than or equal to the suffix start and if the digit does not exist in that portion of the database it just returns your minus one so i have a password database and i also have a strong password criteria so strong password criteria is nothing but that the length of the password should be equal to m and the digit upper bounds and lower bounds i have this i pass in all this information to possible to create strong password and get the final answer within possible to create strong password i have the password database strong password criteria current index is going to be starting initially i'll have it as zero and i'm going to look at the entire suffix so zero comma zero dp of zero comma zero is the final answer and if it's yes if it's true then put yes if it's false then put no and once i get the number i'll try out all the numbers find which number reduces my uh, subsequence of the database for the next call to as small as possible if it's minus one then that is the best otherwise if i don't find any minus one that means the digit does not exist in the subsequence at all or in the database at all i'll go for the uh, maximum possible index so that my subsequence reduces down to as small as possible in the database then based on that i'll make a recurring call and that's it i could have done it for every possible case and then that way my complexity would have been in m squared now it's going to be big of n m so here you can see this was big of n m squared i got a tle on test 8 both the submissions are available and i'll add the links to both of them here the code was simpler i was just trying out every possibility but in this case this is the final code which was big of n into m rather than n into m squared and this got accepted so thanks for watching the video if you like the video definitely leave a comment like the video and subscribe to the channel if you didn't like the video leave a comment and still subscribe to the channel to see me improving the content further thank you bye bye